Hi everyone, I'm just going to be doing a makeup routine today using some of the products from our October catalogue. Okay, so the Blurring Face Primer, which is currently on special. Oops, too much. This will give a bit of a base to adhere to, it blurs the fine lines and wrinkles and the pores and just helps it to um, create a canvas ready for your foundation to adhere to. Take one of those makeup towelettes and just make sure my brush brush is clean, which it's not. Okay, that's my primer done. I am um, just going to go in with the um, face setting powder. I'm just going to, because I've got oily skin especially, I just want to get a bit of extra oil um, absorbing barrier. It also helps that foundation just to give something to grip onto because I've got such oily skin. So if you've got oily skin especially, give this a try. Just um, use your setting powder prior to applying your foundation. It also helps with contracting redness too. And just to help um, blur that out as well. It provides a really soft um, canvas for your skin. Okay, now I'm going to jump in with um, my Correct and Conceal palette. And I'm just gonna go in just under my dark circles a little bit with that peachy tone color. And to go in with the um, just the normal concealer colour. I'm just going to pat that on. I'm just going to put a little bit of the green tint of colour on top of this pimple that's starting. Of course I have put my acne clearing gel underneath that to try and help treat that while it's underneath my makeup. And then go back over with the, that conceal and correct colour. So I'm going to use the Oil Perfecting um, Foundation. I'm actually going to put a little bit of coverage in it just for a bit of extra um, coverage. I'm going to apply it with the foundation brush first and then go back in with the Beauty Blender, which I have um, just ran under some more mortar and just kept squeezing it and eventually it um, expanded, pretty much doubled in size, um, and then dried it off into a towel. Um, so that's ready to apply my makeup. I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender to go over it now. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer on my eyes.
Okay, I've done my foundation and my concealing. I'm gonna go back in now and just do a bit of contouring, even though I'll go back in with the um, powder contour afterwards. I'm just gonna do a bit of clean contouring now. I'll just use a combination of both. Mainly the darker one, but I'll use a combination of both. And a bit of highlighting as well. Okay, and I'm going with my setting powder to set my foundation and my concealer. can also use a bit of the finish foundation as a bit of an extra um, setting powder or as your setting powder. A bit of extra foundation and a bit of extra coverage. I just don't use this under my eyes. I tend to use the, um, the face filter powder. I just find it creases a little bit less using um, the setting powder. And even when I use this as my foundation, I still use that setting powder under my eyes instead of the foundation. I just find it's a little bit better at um, under eyes and setting your concealer. And this is great just to take it out with you um, at the time with your lipstick and a brush and just keep that in your handbag. Um, or it's got the sponge on top of it so you can just um, fix up your um, foundation, especially around the lines where your um, mask has been sitting. It's been the last few months. Um, now I will go in with the um, with the bronzer. This is the brush it comes with at the moment. You can just sort of squeeze the edges to make more of a fine line. Just for a bit of extra contouring. Even though I've already done that clean contour, as you can see, I'm just gonna do a little bit more. that hairline just in that three shape
I'm just gonna go and apply some blush and highlighter from the awesome Complete Look palette. Love this palette. This is my favorite. It has everything you need in it. And I'm just gonna apply that using our new brush. And the highlighter. Okay, now for eyes using the matte palette, I'm going to go in with number one, and with number two. This little bullet blending brush. I'm just gonna go in with number three and four. And just sort of pat that on first of where I want it to go. I'm going to try and keep it upwards, upwards and out. I'm not going to go too far down. I don't want a sloping eye, eye um, shape. I want it sort of up and around the almond shape. I'm going to go with the number six and just start blending that out. I'm just going to go in with that little brush that's in the matte palette and just going to go underneath my eyes with that darker colour. And you go back in with that darker colour again. Just darken that up a bit more. Um, a little bit of the champagne shimmer pop color. Okay, I'm going for a bit of a natural brownish smoky look. So I'm just going with the uh, eyeliner. And 
just going to tuck mine under my lashes before I go in with my liquid. And this will help make my eyelashes look fuller as well. Just fill in those gaps. So I can either do my cat eye flick or I um, can just leave it as it is. As you can see, it's pretty good as it is. Um, usually I go in with a bit of a cat eye though. You can even just, if you're not feeling super confident in using this, you can just use this on the end of your um, fine liner brush. Just sort of brush it on, paint it on, and use this as a bit of a stamp. I stenciled in. After you use them, I think I'm gonna do my brows. Put on my mascara. I love how the Lash Impacts Mascara seems to grab hold of every single little lash, um, even along the bottom line. Um, it's a really beautiful um, mascara to use and a really easy one too. It's not too wet or clumpy. Or, um, clumpy. Um, so yeah, it's really, um, really beautiful mascara to use. 
don't be afraid to wear red or really bright colors so usually if i've got um quite dark eyes then i'll do a neutral lip i've got um quite bright lips and i'll do more of a neutral eyes or if i'm performing then i'll do all of it So try to um, line as much of the lip as I can on the inside as well. It helps to hold your lipstick there. Um, it helps the colour um, stay true to your whole lip. Um, and I've used a I'm using True Red um, in the um, Artistic Intense. So it's like a um, semi-matte. Uh, lipstick. This is fantastic. I use it performing. Um, I love the matte colours. I think they probably, well, they seem to stay on a little bit longer than others just across the board lipsticks in general. Um, some can be drying but these are, are beautiful um, in the middle of a matte and um, semi-matte so they're really beautiful and nourishing and they stay on all night. Setting spray. Okay, that's the finished product. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my red lip look this evening. Okay, bye.